Now, since we're experts at navigating through our computer, we're going to take this another step. We are going to learn how to save information to our computer. So what I mean by saving is, say you type up a letter on a typewriter. After you type up the letter on the typewriter, you take that letter out of the typewriter, go over to your filing cabinet, open up a drawer on your filing cabinet, look inside that filing cabinet drawer, and you'd see what folder you want to place your letter within. Place the letter within the folder, close the drawer, and technically speaking, you have just saved the letter you typed up on your typewriter. The same process works for computers. If you create a document on your computer and you do not save your work and the power goes out, you will lose your document. As you can see, saving is very important. If you type up a letter or a recipe or a grocery list on your computer and you save that grocery list or that letter and your computer is turned off, you can come back 20 years later and when you turn your computer back on, your document will still be intact. So saving is very important. In order to learn how to save something to our computer, we have to have something to save. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a grocery list. In order to create this grocery list, we are going to use a very simple word processing program called Notepad. Notepad is found pretty much on almost every computer, but if you wouldn't have Notepad, you can use any word processing program to follow these steps. To open Notepad, click the Start button. Highlight Programs, Highlight Accessories, Highlight Notepad, click on the option Notepad. Let's open Notepad together. Let's take your mouse arrow, place the mouse arrow on top of the Start button. Click the left mouse button one time and the Start menu will open up. Move your mouse arrow up to All Programs, then slide directly right into the All Programs menu. Slide your mouse arrow up to Accessories. Slide your mouse arrow into the Accessories menu. And then slide your mouse arrow on top of the option Notepad. Click one time with the left mouse button and the Notepad program will open up. Great job opening up Notepad. Now, in order to create a grocery list, we are going to utilize all of the information that we learned in Basic Computers Part 2. We have our blinking cursor in the upper left hand corner of our notepad, so let's pick up some items. The first item we'll pick up is ham. Let's type in ham, press the enter key one time and the blinking cursor will move down to the next line. Let's pick up some pop, press the enter key one time, and our blinking cursor will move down to the next line. And finally, let's pick up some bread. Great job! We now have a grocery list. Now we are going to pretend that this is the greatest grocery list we've ever put together, and it's the most important grocery list we've ever put together. If we lose this grocery list, we're in trouble. Right now, after typing up this grocery list, if the power would go out and our computer would get shut off, we would lose this grocery list forever. So we better save this grocery list. Once we save the grocery list, we can rest assured that our grocery list will be safe. Now before we save this grocery list, take a look at the title bar of the notepad file. Notepad says untitled dash notepad. We have not given this notepad file, this grocery list, a name yet. That will change after we have saved the grocery list to our computer. The first step that we need to follow is we need to go up to the file menu, upper left hand corner of the notepad screen. 
click one time on the file option and the file menu will open up. Let's work on this together. The first step in saving our notepad file, a grocery list, is to move our mouse arrow up to the file menu. Once we place our mouse arrow on top of the file menu, the word file will become highlighted in blue. Click the left mouse button one time and the file menu will open. Slide the mouse arrow down to the option save. The option save will become highlighted in blue and click your left mouse button one time. The Save As screen will appear. The Save As screen is very important to understand. In order to use the Save As screen, we have to answer three very logical questions. Before we even get into the Save As screen, let's take a look at a normal filing cabinet. Let's say we typed up a grocery list on a typewriter. After we're done typing up our grocery list, we pulled that list out of our typewriter, walked over to our filing cabinet. What's the first decision we have to make? We have to figure out which drawer we want to put our grocery list in. So I open up the first drawer. After I open up that first drawer, I have to choose which folder I want to put it in. So my first question I have to answer is, what location? Where do I want to place this grocery list? Top drawer, third folder. You have to do the same thing with the computer. The second question we have to answer is let's give this grocery list a name. So that way if we come back to this grocery list later we have an idea what it is. So question number one is where do you want to place the grocery list? Where do you want to save the grocery list? Second question we answer is what do you want to name the grocery list? Just the same steps you do with a normal filing cabinet. You choose a location and you label the location. And the third question we have to answer is are you done yet? The computer always asks are you finished? We, so we need to tell the computer yes we've chosen a location we're happy with the name we've given our file please save this document. Those are the three questions we need to address in the Save As screen. Now how do we address these three questions on the Save As screen? How do we tell the computer where we want to save our grocery list, what we want to name the grocery list, and that we're done with the save process? First place we need to look is at the top of the Save As screen. You'll see the word Save In and a long narrow input box next to the word save in. Whatever location, and in this example it says desktop in that input box, whatever location is labeled inside that input box, that save in box, is where the computer will save your work. So at this point, if I told the computer we were done with this process, the computer would take our grocery list and save it in the desktop or on top of the desktop. Now you can change the location that's listed inside the save in box and let's do that together. To change the location of the save in box you need to click on the down arrow located just to the right of the save in box. When you click on the down arrow a list of all the different locations that we can save our document, or in this case, our grocery list, will be listed. Now earlier in this class we learned about the My Documents folder. I would like to save the information inside My Documents. So I'd like to click one time on top of My Documents and My Documents will jump to the top box. Our computer now says save in My Documents. The second question we need to answer is what are we going to label or what are we going to name our grocery list? And if you look near the bottom of this Save As screen, you see the words file name. And next to the words file name, you'll see a long white input box. Currently, you'll see .txt within that input box. Well, I think .txt is a pretty bad name. 
Because if I come back to this a week from now, I'm going to have no idea what .txt is. So we need to go in, change the name from .txt to something that makes sense like, let's say, grocery list. Let's do that together. To change the file name, I'm going to take my mouse arrow, place my mouse arrow down in the input box, click one time, and .txt will become highlighted in blue. When .txt is highlighted in blue, I will press my backspace key on my keyboard, just like we learned in Basic Computers Part 2. And the .txt, or any existing file name, will be erased. Once that input box is empty, I'll go to my keyboard and type in the new name, Grocery List. After we've given our grocery list a name, we then answer the third question. We tell the computer that we have finished telling the computer where we want this document located and what we want this document titled. So we go to the right-hand corner of that Save As screen, look for the Save button, click the Save button one time with our left mouse button, and we have successfully saved our grocery list to our computer. So we take our mouse arrow, slide the mouse arrow down to the save button, lower right hand corner of the screen, click one time, and our document has been successfully saved. Now take a look at the title bar of the grocery list. Our notepad file is no longer untitled. Our notepad file now has the name grocery list attached to it. When the title bar changes, we know that we have successfully saved our document. Great job saving our document. Now we're going to move on to the next step. I want everyone to close their grocery list. Click that X in the upper right hand corner. The grocery list will be removed from the screen and we're going to go find that grocery list now. So to close the grocery list, we move our mouse arrow up to the X. Click one time on the X, and the grocery list is removed from the screen. To review, saving your work, open your file menu and click on the option Save. The Save screen will appear. Using the drop-down box, click on the selection My Documents. Type in the name of your file. Click the Save button. Well now, to find that grocery list, we need